BestBookBits.com presents Unfuck Yourself, Get Out of Your Head and Into Your Life by Gary John Bishop. Joining the ranks of the life-changing magic of not giving a fuck, the subtle art of not giving a fuck, you are a badass. And Fuck Feelings comes this refreshing, bullshit-free self-empowerment guide that offers an honest, no-nonsense, tough love approach to help you move past self-imposed limitations. Are you tired of feeling fucked up? If you are, Gary... John Bishop has the answer. In this straightforward handbook, he gives you the tools and advice you need to demolish the slag weighing you down and become the truly unfucked version of yourself. Wake up to the miracle who you are, he directs. Here's what you've forgotten. You're a fucking miracle of being. It isn't the other people that are standing in your way. It isn't even your circumstances that are blocking your ability to thrive. It's yourself and the negative self-talk you keep telling yourself. The written and audio summary can be found on our website, bestbookbits.com. So without further ado, I bring the book summary of Unfuck Yourself. Most of the conversations you've had on any given day are with yourself. We have a massive say in which of those thoughts we attach significance to. The kind of talk you engage in has a profound impact on the quality of your life. Reject your sense of injury and the injury itself disappears. Marcus Aurelius. People spend their lives waiting for the cavalry all the while, never realizing they are the cavalry. Our thoughts can actually change the physical structure of our brain. The phenomenon is called neural plasticity. No matter how difficult, challenging, or pressing life circumstances can be, how you fundamentally relate to and engage with those circumstances will have the biggest say in how they turn out. The answer is inside you rather than outside you. There is no greater knowledge than the knowledge you have verified for yourself in your own experience. You have the life you are willing to put up with. Circumstances don't make the man. They only reveal him to himself. You are 100% responsible for what you do with your life and the aftermath of those events. Always, every time, no excuses. Once you find the obstacles in your life as a matter of willing and unwilling instead of weighing yourself down, With negative opinions of yourself and your circumstance, you can break through the self-imposed barriers that are truly holding you back. Ask yourself, am I willing? Until you get a resounding yes. Chapter 3, I am wired to win. Our thoughts are so powerful, they're constantly pushing you towards their goals, even when you don't realize what those goals actually are. Your brain is wired to win. Your brain is wired to win. 95% of what we do in a day-to-day life is controlled by our subconscious. Only a tiny fraction of the things we say or do are out of a sense of volition. For the most part, you're on autopilot. We hold a certain belief about ourselves of all life that we prove right time and time again through our everyday actions. Those beliefs uncannily turn out to be deadly accurate and a reality. Chapter 4, I Got This. It is during our darkest moments that we must focus to see the light, Aristotle. Take a moment to put all your past and present problems into perspective. You shouldn't let what happens in one area of your life affect your outlook on the whole. Chapter 5, I Embrace Uncertainty. We know that taking risks leads to better rewards, but we are so used to looking for certainty. Until recently, the world was such a much more dangerous place for humans. While it's not a utopia, it is much safer than before. Uncertainty is where things happen. It is your personal pathway to opportunity. It is the environment in which you grow, experience new things, and produce new, unprecedented results. Uncertainty is where new happens. The desire for safety stands against every great and noble enterprise. In any moment of decision, the best thing you could do is the right thing. The next best thing you can do is the wrong thing. The worst thing you could do is nothing. Achieving your goals and perceived certainty can blunt or mellow your ambitions and desires. Certainty is a complete illusion. When we think we know everything, we inadvertently turn ourselves away from the unknown and by default, whole new realms of success. The person who accepts how unpredictable and uncertain life is has no choice but to embrace it. They're not afraid of the uncertain. It's just a part of life. Part of our aversion to uncertainty comes from being judged by others. We are afraid of what the tribe thinks. We are afraid of what the tribe thinks. Chapter 6, I am not my thoughts, I am what I do. We become just by performing just actions. Temperate by performing temperate actions. 
brave by performing brave actions. Aristotle. You can change your life by doing, not thinking about doing. You can change your life by doing, not thinking about doing. Doing is the quickest way to change your thoughts. Don't act on your thoughts. Act on what's in front of you. Change your life by changing your actions. Action may not bring happiness, but there is no happiness without action. Benjamin Disraeli. Chapter 7, I am relentless. The more unique and out of the box your endeavor, the stronger the pushback can be. Mostly because the other people in life have gotten used to relating to you as a specific kind of person. Anytime you attempt to break out of the mold, you're not only messing with your own world, you are also messing with theirs. This resistance also comes from your own mind too. True relentlessness comes when the only thing you have left is relentlessness. When it seems like all seems lost, relentlessness is the fuel that drives you through. It is the mark of an educated mind to be able to entertain a thought without accepting it. Aristotle. And chapter 8, accept nothing and accept everything. The upsets strewn throughout your entire life are a product of thousands of unspoken, unrecognized expectations that cast a giant shadow across your life experience, causing great stress when you're trying to make fit with your expectations and great disappointment when life doesn't match up to them. They actually get in the way of real life and real issues that require attention. When you expect nothing, you're living in the moment. When you expect nothing, you're living in the moment. You are not worrying about the future or rejecting the past. You are simply embracing your situation as it comes. When you accept everything, it doesn't mean you are okay with it or agree with it. It simply means you are owning it and in charge of it. You can always change something when you take ownership and responsibility for it. Don't expect victory or defeat. Plan for victory. Learn from defeat. The expectation of people loving you or respecting you is a pointless exercise too. Be free to love them the way they are, and be loved the way they love you. Free yourself from the burden and melodrama of expectation. Love the life you have, not the one you expected to have. And chapter 9, where next? 7 personal assertions. Number 1, I am willing. 2, I am wired to win. 3, I got this. 4, I embrace uncertainty. 5, I am not my thoughts. I am what I do. Six, I am relentless. And seven, I expect nothing and accept everything. In order to improve your internal world, you have to start by taking action in the external world. Get out of your mind and get out into life. Future you is not going to regret a lack of achievement or absence of any one thing in your life. The only thing you regret is not trying, not striving, not pushing through when the going got tough. Successful people don't wait. Successful people don't wait. Don't wait for the right moment or the inspiration to strike. They get up and they do and they try and they fail. Even before they feel ready, they are flying the airplane while they're building it. Stop blaming your past. Why is it you show more passion for your past than you do for your future? No one can feel you but you. We can forget our past by creating a future, building something bigger than you've ever done. When what's in front of you is so bright and so satisfying, you won't have time to look behind you. Your eyes and mind will be focused straight ahead. You may not like everything from your past, but it helped shape who you are today, good and bad. There's plenty of good about you, and that good is enough to get you what you want. Themes, main ideas. Number one, people spend their lives waiting for the cavalry, all the while never realizing they are the cavalry. Number two, you have the life you are willing to put up with. Three, your brain is wired to win. Four, you shouldn't let what happens in one area of your life affect your outlook on the whole. And five, uncertainty is where things happen. Six, certainty is a complete illusion. Seven, doing is the quickest way to change your thoughts. Eight, you can always change something when you take ownership and responsibility for it. And nine, don't expect victory or defeat. Plan for victory, learn from defeat. And 10, love the life you have, not the one you expected to have. And 11, successful people don't wait. 12, stop blaming your past. And last, number 13, seven personal assertions. I am willing. I am wired to win. I got this. I embrace the uncertainty. I am not my thoughts. I am what I do. I am relentless. 
I expect nothing and accept everything. And that's a wrap on the book summary of Unfuck Yourself. Check out our YouTube channel with over 450 book summaries uploaded previously. If you liked the video, comment, subscribe, and smash that like button. Check out our website, bestbookbits.com, where you'll find over 450 book summaries and growing in written and audio format. You can download in the PDF in video categories from biographies, business and marketing, habits, health, leadership, money, personal development, philosophy, psychology, real estate, relationship, sales, spirituality, and success. If you're into the audio version, check out mixcloud.com forward slash best book bits, where you'll find over 450 audio book summaries to listen to at your pleasure. Follow us on Instagram at best book bits for daily motivational quotes and book summaries. Thanks for watching. Hope you got something out of this. Go out there and unfuck yourself. Take care. Have a great day.